Hey everybody, I'm JT here with Fun and Motion Toys and I am here with the inventor of hyper tiles, Robert Becker, and he's gonna tell us all about something called inversion. Yeah, and it's a math term. It applies to some of these structures in a way that's really unique. Some of these inversions can be essentially flipped inside out. So I guess I would call that an inversion, right? Okay. And it's interesting because here's a great example of one. And if you notice these pinwheels, and this has got six of these pinwheel vertices, we call this a pinwheel octahedron. Also, you can see these three rings. These rings are actually spiral flexi loops. If I'm gonna invert this, I obviously have to break the red, the blue, and the yellow ring. So I'm gonna do it right here. Boom, boom, boom. Broke each of them. And this is what I meant by an inversion, okay? It's, you gotta see it to believe it here. So it just flips inside out. And this particular inversion gives you the same shape afterward, after it's been flipped inside out. That's the same thing. And I can connect it there. In fact, let me care because there's another way of inverting. I said I had to break the blue, the red, and the yellow, but um, there's other ways I could do that. So you ready for this? Rather than three like this in a little triangle, I'm gonna do red, blue, and yellow in a line. And I should still be able to invert it. Ready? That gives a different kind of shape, but it still inverts into the same pinwheel That's octahedron. Neat. Okay. Does everything that inverts turn into the same shape? That is an excellent question. And the answer is no. Here is a building unit that is very versatile because it makes a near perfect hexagon. Okay, and that's oh, made out of six tiles, all zigzag connections, all zigzag adjacent connections, right? Hexagon is at the heart of a lot of the shapes. And, um, Here's an example of one. This could be considured a truncated, truncated Petri means. Is what it looks Very like. good, yeah. It's got the oh, corners sorry, cut sorry. off. No, yeah. good. It's got a green face, a red face, a yellow face, and a blue face. And the corners have been cut off. So we have four corners that are missing. They're little empty triangles there. And these hexagonal faces. But you're saying, where are all the spikes? Well, the, all the spikes are pointing inward. So I will break this here. Got to break it in a, like three different spots again. Lay it flat. And what do we call something like that that lay out, lays off flat that you can then fold it? That's called a net. That is called a net. So I can fold it up this way. That gives me spikes pointing inward, but I can invert it. Agreed, that's the same kind of inversion. Just flip it inside yeah. out. And I think you have to agree that what I get now when I reconnect my, it's still a truncated tetrahedron, but it does not look like the one I was holding up before because now it's got the spikes pointing outward. Interesting. So, and I brought along some other ones here. Here's another one with the spikes pointing inward, a rhombic tricontahedron. I could invert this, but it would take a long time, but I could certainly have the spikes pointing outward. The cool thing is this one is actually about the size of a soccer ball, right? Yes. And it rolls pretty well. Wow. If it were inverted with all the spikes pointing outward, yeah. that'd probably be painful to try to play soccer with it. And it wouldn't roll quite as well. And, are we ready to show them this one? Check out this, we have a little stand for it. This is made up of these same shapes. And yes, it's all spikes pointing inward. This has got 20 hexagons, 20 times six, 120 tiles are in this thing. How many connectors? Twice that many actually, two times that number. So 240 connectors. This right here is called a truncated icosahedron. It actually is the shape of a soccer ball. It's got 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons, the pentagons are those holes. And yes, we can invert this to an level of spike point outward. It would take us a little while, right? But it can be yeah. done. And that's three sets of hyper tiles. That would take you then. three sets, I think, yes. Wow. Right. Thank you so much, Robert. I really think I speak on behalf of both of us when I say that we can't wait to see what you all create. Thanks for watching, have a good one.